In this video, I'm going to show you how to create textured fabrics in V-Ray 5 for SketchUp. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, head to the link in the description and click on the subscribe button. It goes a long way in keeping me motivated and releasing more content for y'all. Alright, so in this video, you'll learn how to create a textured fabric in V-Ray 5 for SketchUp for pillows, where you will learn how to use this awesome plugin called Sketch UV to apply your material uniformly on the pillow. There's a whole lot more and this is part of a larger course called the Complete SketchUp and V-Ray course for interior design, where you will learn step by step in modeling and rendering various interior spaces with SketchUp, V-Ray, Photoshop and a bunch of very useful SketchUp plugins. If you haven't checked out the course yet, head to the link in the description and sign up now. Now, let's get started straight to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now in this video, I'm going to create my pillow materials and also apply a textured material on the pillows and use a plugin called Sketch UV to correct the UV of our material. So I'm going to delete this lamp now because always showing the way i don't need this and doesn't add value to the space so i can delete that so i'm going to create a simple fabric material now i'm not going to be using any sort of a bitmap so go to your asset editor right click and click on generic i'm going to rename this call this a underscore fabric underscore white new I'm going to use a slightly grayish white material, not completely white. And I'm going to click on the texture slot, scroll down and click on fall off map. Now I'm going to make the slot A slightly brighter as well. And then go back. So we have a fabric material. I'm going to change this to fabric. So this is our fabric material. I'm going to right click and copy and add this to the bump as well and reduce the bump amount so this is our simple fabric material if you're changing the color in your fabric material i will suggest that you enter the texture slot and change it in the fall off map now for example if i give this sort of a color which is maroon i can right click copy and right click paste here so the same color now but i'm going to make this brighter by entering this swatch and then simply reducing the value here to make it slightly brighter so now if i go back we have a red velvet sort of a fabric now enter the group again i'm going to keep it white so reset this reset this and just simply increase this to the right so we have a fabric material and i'm going to apply this on my four pillows so enter this group select both the faces and edges use the bucket tool make sure that the fabric white texture is activated and apply it on your pillow once you've applied it on your pillow select both your faces and edges and click on triplanar projection world now some students have asked me if i can use the same v-ray material and show it in the sketchup view as well Yes, you can. Go back to your asset editor. Now, under the material parameters for fabric white new, we have something called binding. Click on binding to open it up. Now, I'm going to change the texture mode from auto to custom mode. And click on the texture slot here. Click on color. And use a white color. So, now it would reflect in the sketchup window what is shown in the binding for this material. So that's how you show your V-Ray materials in the SketchUp window. I'm going to select this material and apply it for these pillows as well using the same steps. All right, I'm going to apply a textured material now on this pillow. So go back to Acid Editor. Create a new generic material, rename this, call this A underscore fabric underscore pillow texture. Now I'm going to add a bitmap here, so click on the texture slot here, 
and click on the bitmap again. I'm going to select this material as my texture. You will find it in the exercise files and click on open. I'm going to go back. Now I need to make this a fabric material, which I'm sure you guys know by now how to create. So right click, go to wrap in, crawl down and click on follow off map. I'm going to right click, copy this and paste in the second slot. And I'm going to add a color correction to make it brighter. All right, we have a texture slot. I'm also going to copy this to my bump. So right click, copy and right click, paste. But make sure you paste it as a copy and not as an instance. If you paste it as an instance and if you change the material, it would change in the original material as well, which is in the texture slot. So if you paste it as a copy, this would be independent of this. I hope that made sense. Now I'm going to add a color correction. And I'm going to reduce the saturation to make this a black and white map. Can increase the brightness a bit. And finally reduce the bump amount. All right, now I'm going to apply this material on my pillows. Center the group. Triple click on the pillow and apply the material. So I've applied the material, but the texture is gone haywire. So enter the group again. And generally, triplanar projection world works if the UV is correct in your object. If it doesn't work, like you can see, you can download a plugin called Sketch UV. So go to Windows and click on Extension Arrows. I'm going to select Sketch UV or you can search for Sketch UV as well. I'm going to select this plugin and click on Install. It's a free plugin and you can simply install it from your Extension Arrows. Alright, we've installed Sketch UV. Now what you need to do is enter this group till you select both the faces and edges or the face as well. And now you can click on Sketch UV Mapping Tools. So once you click on this and you right click on the surface, you'll get these various options. Now the best way to solve this problem is by using a planar map. So click on planar map and you can see that it is wrapped better than what it was before. Now you can use the arrow keys in your keyboard to nudge the texture. So if I press left, you can see the texture moving to the left. Let me select Sketch UV again. You can also decrease the scale of this texture by typing in multiply into 10. So you can make it something along these lines as well. I'm going to undo and multiply by 3. And then simply nudge it to the right a bit. You can also nudge top and down. Once you're happy with this, you can click on the select tool and click outside the group to finish. I'm going to quickly repeat that for this pillow as well and repeat the same steps. Now I'm going to start an interactive render and see how this looks in the render. So click on render with VDA interactive. And it looks pretty decent. All right, so that's how you create your fabric materials. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create the fabric material for curtains and how to make it translucent or transparent to let in more light. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.